Hello Northside, my name is Greg and I'm with the prayer team and I'm going to be reading a psalm to you today and spending a little time praying with you. So this is Psalm number 145. It is a psalm of praise from David. I will extol you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise your works to another and declare your mighty acts. I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works. Men shall speak of your mighty and awesome acts, and I will declare your righteousness and your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He is slow to anger and great in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of your glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. To make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholds those who fail, fall and raises all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all look expectantly to you, and you give them their food in due season, and open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, gracious in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him and also will hear, hear their cry and save them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh shall bless his holy name forever and ever. Lord, I thank you so much, and I think it's, it's a good thing, Lord, to remind ourselves and remember that even in the, in the midst of, of uncertainty, Father, that you are still God. And it is good and it's right to praise you because you are over everything. Father, we, we give our lives to you. We give our cares to you. We give our struggles to you. We give our concerns to you. We believe you, Lord, that you are over everything. Father, we believe you that you are glorious and that you are righteous and you're good and that you have dominion over everything. Father, we praise you for this because we are your children. We are inheritors of your kingdom. We are your friends. We are your family. And we praise you for this. We praise you that there is no one like you, God. There's no one that sits as high as you, and no one sees as far as you do. There's no one like you who stretches out their hand that no one can, can stretch back. Father, we thank you that we are in the palms of your hands and no one can snatch us out. We thank you, Father, for all of your great and glorious and wondrous deeds and acts. We look forward to the future, Father, because the future has you in it. And because of that, we know it's gonna be a great future. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus, we give you praise and glory and thanks. Amen. Thank you, Northside. See you next time.